Hi everyone. This Hi. is Adobe Live. Hey Daniel. Hey, hello. How are you guys? Hi. Right. Yeah. They will let us know. Yeah, let us know how you feel today. Let us yeah. know where you're watching from. Uh, this is Michael and Daniel. We'll be live for two hours to end this amazing week about uh, UX, UI design, everything in Adobe XD. If you missed the first episode, actually, you can uh, watch your replays. They are already available on the Creative Cloud YouTube channel. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll be working on a new project with Daniel today. Uh, we also uh, will do some uh, giveaways. Um, maybe, uh, Francisco, can you confirm that we're giving away uh, the pillow? Yeah, the XD pillow. Okay, so it's uh, right here, you see? Uh, the lower third whoop, is moving and this is here. So stay tuned. We will give away to someone in the chat. Anytime. It can happen at any yeah. time. And uh, you know, Daniel, we challenge them every day. So today they have to uh, create and share an in, uh, and prototype an application of the future. Okay, cool. An application that will be released in 2050. So, so it's they have to be future. Yeah, they're very creative. Cool. I would do something about uh, teleportation. <laughs> That's what I would do. But yeah. yeah, but I'm sure we will be surprised by what they create. They have been very creative so far. Um, so yeah, we have uh, Levi joining, Raven, Guillaume, good to see you, Diana, Arthur, thanks for coming back. Um, so, Daniel, maybe we can start by um, what, we did yeah, what we did yesterday, just a quick recap, and uh, you can explain what you will be working on today. Yep. And I sure. remember yesterday some people in the chat were asking you to uh, create something, animations in After Effects, so maybe... Yeah. Maybe you will uh, launch After Effects today. We will see. Yeah, we'll do that, definitely. Oh, cool. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, uh, so uh, let's start. And <clears throat> so yesterday we were working on um, on this website, minimalistic website. And I think we did almost all the desktop pages. Mm -hmm. And But as we have, as we don't have too much time, so it's going to be better to just start working on the new okay. my uh, project because yeah it will be fun and also we we will do some really simple and cool animation in after effects that you asked nice. us for yep so these animations are a great way to uh, you know express and share with a, a developer what type of micro interaction animation you need in the app and also it's a good way for your behance portfolio if you want to show also that you can create some animations. Uh, so yeah, it would be yeah, cool to see how you use After Effects for that. That would be awesome. Okay, so for today, we're going to make uh, this a website. It's going to be not the horizontal, vertical, because we, from the yep. past two these days, we did like horizontal minimalistic. This is going to be still like clean, but vertical. Okay, yep. like a long scrolling experience. Yes, mm. awesome. like a landing page, I would say, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So let's start. So for this project, I also prepare everything, all the wireframes, wireframes content, style guide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even like background, oh. uh, gradients, and like buttons. <laughs> so yeah. So let's start from the wireframe. It's gonna save our time. So I'll be have I'll have more time to create something in After Effects. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Okay. Uh, so again, you should keep in mind everything should be in the grid. Like, I mean the content, the menu, and this button for the social can be like outside the layout. That's fine, but all the content should be should be just inside of this grid. So oh, we'll, fix. Yeah. we'll fix just, this thing. Yeah. A few pixels yeah. to the left. <laughs> Uh, Arthur is asking, can I import animated GIF in XD? Not yet, no. Um, so that's why creating some animated GIF in uh, After Effects also would be yeah, a yeah. cool way, but it's more to share on social, share on Behance, what you are working on, or share your ideas with a developer. Yeah. Yeah. Melissa, thanks for coming back. Melissa, you remember, she's from Belgium. From oh, Gent, yeah. Hi, it's very Melissa. cold, and she wants to move to LA. Oh, that's cool. OK. <laughs> And also, don't forget about Photoshop. You can do also some really cool oh, animations yes. in Photoshop. Very good point. Very easy to export your artboards and assets from XD to Photoshop. 
Oh yeah, select anything, you click on file export, you select PNG, you open in Photoshop and using the timeline, the timeline, mm -hmm. it's true that it's, yeah, it's easy yeah. to animate. I did some few things in Photoshop yeah. animation in my portfolio, so yeah. you can check it Maybe out. Maybe, yeah, we can check out later. Yeah. It's a good idea. Okay. So this menu is supposed to open just like that. We'll, oh. we'll see later. Okay. And also this menu will be fixed. Like you scroll the page uh, it and it's, stay. yeah, it will stay. Okay. So uh, unfortunately in XD today, you cannot have fixed elements. But if you visit adobexd.uservoice.com, which is mm -hmm. the place you know, where we discuss the roadmap with the team, uh, the XD team told us that they are working on it. So it's coming very soon. Oh, it's coming yeah. soon. It's cool. coming very, very soon. I don't know how it will look like, but the goal is to say this element is fixed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I scroll, don't move, don't change the position. Cool, nice. That's how I like it. So I have two different logo. So this logo will be mostly for like, I would say maybe mobile version. It's just like small version of the full uh, logo. Okay. And also you can do this logo in XD and how I did um, these like things, it's it just like border, like invisible border. You can use uh, these things here. So it's gonna just like cut, cut this line. I'll show you maybe later. Nice logo. This logo reminds me a little bit of another one that I know, but really? I won't tell which one. Okay. <laughs> I want to see if someone in the chat uh, can guess what I have in mind. Okay. Let's so move. if you recognize a brand with the same uh, concept idea for the logo, although it's very different, but mm -hmm. okay, let me know in the chat. Oh, Grayson, ooh. Yeah, Grayson got it. Good job. Mm -hmm. It's Nespresso. Mm. I will show you why. Okay. <laughs> Do you drink coffee or not? Me? Yeah. Uh, actually, I'm not a big fan of coffee. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's just because of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, like, yeah. Line. Just to have a line, yeah. yeah. That's it. It's because I drink a lot of coffee. Okay. So that's why. When so it's only me and Grayson. <laughs> when I drink, I feel sleepy from coffee. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you should check your. You should check your coffee. There is something wrong. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Okay. So here's gonna be our like small logo. Oh yeah. This one. Mm -hmm. We should actually uh, maybe add a, a black background. Yeah, we should uh, make it black. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think we don't need this small thing here. Yeah. Just can be like that. So all day long they have been submitted uh, the app of the future. They yeah. submitted. Uh, that's what I'm checking. And I think they reviewed almost everything. So that's good, yeah. So feel free to submit. I will just ask the team a question. There's actually should be something interesting because it's a future app. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of coffee lovers in the chat. Oh, really? <laughs> so, yeah. Let us know what type of coffee and, and how do you brew the coffee? Like, you know, what type of, I don't know uh, about the exact word, but uh, how do you prepare your coffee? Mm -hmm. Is it espresso, French press? But it's true that this is a common th uh, theme in the creative community. You, know, you see a lot of. Uh, Designers making illustrations of coffee or quotes about coffee. Yes. Like it's 
It's almost a meme. <laughs> okay, so your website will have uh, two languages? Yeah, two languages for the, like, Russian and English. Okay. Can you, uh, I'm not sure if XD can support uh, Russian. Do you know if it works? Yeah, sure. You can type Russian in like, XD? Like, for example, hello, right? Oh, it, it works. Be, yeah. It works. Wow, awesome. Yeah, I wasn't mm -hmm. sure. Cool, good news. I know it works with uh, Japanese, you know, like, uh, which is also a completely different alphabet, but I wasn't sure about the Cyrillic alphabet. Awesome. Actually, Russian, it's uh, also international language, so I think it should be... Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people speak Russian, for sure. Get a quote, okay. Yeah. So the um, idea That's is... That's the call to action. Yes, call to action. So once you click it, um, this, it's like, it's going to be like small form, application form, ah, I would say. Where you ask questions and... Yeah. So I'm not going to design it because it's it's it, it's going to take too much time. Okay. But it's like, if you want, if you want to get a like, help quote about like graphic design or web design or something, video photo production so um you you just um you can choose here once you choose it's gonna move you to that page mm -hmm. so it's gonna be like 10 pages with the with 10 uh questions okay and it gives you an idea of the price at the end yes oh that's so nice like how many pages of the website you want do you need the like login thing for your website do you need personal profile? Yeah. And then once a uh, user answer on this all the questions, it's going to give him probably like estimate uh, price for for his project. Okay. Let me think how we can do that. So yeah, here I was asking the chat, can we use uh, shadows in XD? So yeah, if you select any object, course. there is a drop shadow property. Pretty much like uh, a layer effect in Photoshop. Yeah, I'll show you really quick. Oh, thanks. So, for example, you create this rectangle, or you can use the uh, shadow for everything, even for the text if you want. Mm. So you just click here, you have the options here. And this is the shadow. Once you click this shadow, uh, you have this X, Y, and B, Y. I don't know. I'm saying Y <laughs> on this. Yeah. So it means the positions of uh, the shadow. Okay. So if you put like 10, for example, it's going to go uh, down. Go down. You mm -hmm. can see that. And B, it's, it's a blur. The I think. blur, yeah. Yeah. So if you put 10, it's going to yeah. be like more like diffuse <laughs> diffuse yeah and this one more like stronger and also w when you click on it here on the shadow you can choose the color you can make it more like like opacity and you can also type here like 50 percent of opacity so that's cool uh cameron cameron design is asking can you use shows with the repeat grid cameron do you mean shadows shows um if you mean shadows, yes, you can. It's just a property on an object, yeah. so it could be on real, any object. Yeah, he means something like that. Oh, good job, yeah. Yeah, so you still That's have it. this shadow. Yeah. And what's cool is that um, if you modify the, cha the, the shadow on a, one item in the repeat grid, it will modify it everywhere. <laughs> it's uh, part of the properties. Gabriela is asking, how often do you do live streams? Uh, so we go live every week, Gabriela. On behance.net slash live, there is a schedule tab if you want to check. Next week, we will be live with uh, graphic designers. And uh, within two weeks, we will be live with uh, YouTube creators and motion designers. We have um, Shameless Maya, so she has a YouTube channel. She will be paired with Valentina V, motion designers. 
And we will have uh, Sean Shonduras. He also has a YouTube channel, and he will be paired with uh, Pablo, a motion designer. And also we'll welcome back uh, Ivan Abrams with uh, Jake in Motion, and they will both uh, create motion designs for YouTube channels. So very different from what Daniel is doing. Although Daniel will use After Effects today. So. Yeah, so. by the way. Okay. And uh, Ray, yeah, yeah, Raven Cooper is asking, what are the Friday streams? So this is something that we will add more and more content over the year. But we will start with the weekly show on Fridays, 12 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, every week, an opportunity to directly talk to the Adobe XD team, the designers, the developers, the product managers behind Adobe XD. And we will talk about uh, XD, the philosophy, the roadmap, uh, also what's happening in the design industry. So join the conversation, first episode today. Oh, sorry, tomorrow. And Gabriella also, if you can subscribe. So there is a subscribe button, I think, if you mouse over the video player or in the schedule tab too. Um, we send you an, uh, an email every week when we go live, so you know uh, what is the topic, when do we go live. So it's a good way also to get uh, a reminder. Cool, okay. okay, so that's the menu where we're working on. Yeah, that's the menu. Oh, is it the, the one that you want to... Yes. Ex oh, I see. We can actually prototype it later. Oh, yeah. It's a good idea. So this is should be kind of minimalistic menu. <laughs> I, I actually I suggest to do like that to be like everything lined up and so for example if this one is 16 16 and you have four uh, menus so it's better just to count like 16 16 divided by four so it's uh, 404 so you create rectangle for 404 yeah so that's where it should be every menu. Okay, but as I'm doing it really quick, so I think this is gonna be enough just to show the, just an idea. I really like how XD helps me to oh, with the line. smart guide. Yeah, yeah, this is really nice. It's so fast. You know, yeah, when you move around, like you can do some cool things. I was thinking maybe the hover will be so f in the beginning. It's going to be just these lines, but once you hover this um, this menu, mm -hmm. the line will like will go around this. Uh, this main so this is kind of hover and it can fill the just white background and text can be uh, black. black okay and it's still the most efficient contrast <laughs> white on black black on white mm. yeah always worked so this is supposed to be here yeah okay so let's just keep here so now it's really nice and popular to use like big font, mm -hmm. even like 19 if, if you have space. Which one, which uh, typeface is this? Uh, this is Proxima. Proxima Nova? Yeah. But I was thinking to use this font, but then I changed my mind. <laughs> yeah, so I think Proxima is still good. Yeah, it's very nice font. Available on TypeKit too, yeah. And I think it's free, even. You it's, can uh, just yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Might be par part of the free uh, Google fonts, no? Yeah, mm -hmm. probably, I guess. Let me check. So let's just fill these blocks. part of the Google fonts and also type kit. Okay, cool. So this is like first service. So why uh, only uh, the first block has this block? It's just like 
I show, I will show the developer that it should be just like hover. So when you hover this block, it mm -hmm. should be expand a little bit, and this block will, should come ah, like, okay. like just like that, and show the details and information about. Oh, it. I okay. see. So this is graphic design. So let's use for graphic design kind of this. And all the all the pictures you can find in Adobe uh, stock. Mm -hmm. And before you buy, you can, as you said, you just can like preview. Oh yeah. You can put, yeah. Use the preview. It's in low resolution, but for a prototype. Uh, yeah, it's it works it's perfect. Yeah. Okay, so I tried to just like to drag and paste to this one. But it's cropped a little bit like big. Yeah. So you have the second option. You can just move it here. Yeah. Select these two layers mm -hmm. and just click uh, right click like right button click on the mouse and you can um, you can click group mask. Let me just okay. I have ungroup mask because it's already that's already a mask. Mask. Yeah. That's why. I see. Let me delete this one. Okay, I so see people here. talking about kite. Do you know what kite is? Kite, uh, actually, no, I think. Ah, it's to create uh, animations. Okay. Interesting. But I like to create in After Effects. Yeah, me too. Mm. And it's part of Creative Cloud, I would say. So yeah, just there. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Melissa. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's okay. Nice pictures. Okay, let's make it a little bit darker. Because it's hard a little bit to read uh, text. Uh, the, the white text. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to show you something really nice. Maybe it's going to be uh, useful for you guys to use in the future. But for example, there's a lot of kind of like that websites that you can uh, check your text and background if it's going to fit. So just like you have some color doesn't matter let's say you have like some reds and you want to use with background color like with black that's fine so you see this like fail fail pass fail so it's good like you you can you can balance it and once you get ah. to the all the pass or at least like okay one fail is okay so it means like it's going to be readable that's for good the people hmm? yeah Paste these pictures. Oh, again, it's big, so let's just. Okay, we have layer here. Let's try again. Maybe it's not going to big. Yeah. Hi, Sherry. Yeah, if you want to access uh, the previous episodes that we had this week, we will put the link in the chat to our uh, YouTube playlist with all mm -hmm. the replays from all the weeks, and it's webm.org. <clears throat> right? This is what you are showing the website? They are asking. Oh, uh, this one? Yeah, webm. Webm.org. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I guess it has to do with uh, accessibility. No. Mm -hmm. The A, yeah. And uh, so today we change you to create a futuristic application. An application that you can make with XD, but that will be used in 2050. So all the details of the challenge are on behance.net slash live in the behance, uh, uh, sorry, the challenge tab. Uh, we received a crazy one. You want to see it? Yeah, sure. Whoa. This is what I will like happen it. in 2050. Mm -hmm. Rodney Hanquist is not very optimistic. <laughs> so we will enter the apocalypse. Caution. OK. It's not real. Conditions. OK, we, we go. <laughs> Training mission. If you accept okay. your mission, is to rescue Daniel Moussa. 
Oh, okay. We try to uh, accept. Okay. We yeah. try to rescue you. Okay. <laughs> Was it successful? I mean, he's next to me. He looks okay. Yes. Yay! Yeah. Now you are part nice. of the arsenal. Oh, cool. Mm, you have one life. Ah, okay. It was the last day. Ah, we all die. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Rodney. Very creative. Yeah, very cool. Not super uh, optimistic. But <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah. Keep sharing your prototype. You can get a chance to win a Crave Cloud subscription. So, it's a nice prize. That's cool. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, we'll still soon display in, uh, in about four minutes. We will display the countdown, but you, you have more than one hour to submit your entry. All the rules are in the change tab. That's maybe might be interesting for you how I did that. these things. It's super easy. You just... Um, <laughs> okay, Ronnie, well, he wants me to click on no. Okay. So like when no. we will review it again at the end of the show, Rene, we will click on the... <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. <laughs> I will check before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I will check before. Because yep. So as we have the white background, so okay. you just do the same white background and you click on shadow and it gives you kind of this effect. So it's like oh. transparency, like invisible, but you have the shadow. Yep. Okay, this is just it's gonna be form. And if you cr if if you choose some um, some style of the website, for example, if you want to create something something like organic, uh, clean, green, so you should stay with this uh, design to the end of the the whole project. Okay. Because sometimes the people like start from the clean design and then they finish with like flat design. So Okay. The button will be just like that. And don't don't forget to show all the hours for the developer. So I'll show here. So I'll make it black and text white. So that's what mm. what's gonna happen when you click on Yeah, the active mode. Uh, yeah. I mean not click, just hover. Uh, hover, hover. Right? Yeah. Because there is the like standard, I would say, or mm -hmm. yeah, just the display mode, the hover mode and the active mode. So that you can change also like when I click. Yeah, what's gonna happen can, then? Yeah change some uh, properties. Yeah. So that's on the web, huh? not in Adobe XD, but once the web developer is uh, playing with the CSS, he can uh, mm -hmm. he can uh, trigger these changes. Okay, I have actually content here, so let me just use Okay, so you have four stats. So is it something also that will, uh, like, it will go from quality to innovation and it will change the picture on the right? Or Yeah, actually, the idea, just like once you get to this block, mm -hmm. this block will open probably like just like that. Okay. And the picture the same, can be the same. And yeah, once you click on, for example, like you click on quality and it's going to pop some like small, uh, small thing and it's gonna explain you okay why yeah I'll show you uh, so Claire is saying oh I cannot open a, a PSD in XD I can show if you want again like how it's do you have one here yeah, yeah. so uh, but Oh, first I want to show a, okay. a, a trick to Claire. So Claire, uh, make sure you have the last version of Adobe XD. So to make sure you have the last version, because we just updated XD mm -hmm. uh, on Tuesday, so this week, okay? So you can click here in your Creative Cloud Desktop app and say uh, the first one, check for app updates. So it will force you know this screen to refresh, and, and you can see if you need to update XD. 
So it takes a few seconds. Because in this new version of Adobe XD, you should be able to open a PSD file. So here you see it says, this one is up to date. So OK, that's cool. So I will open XD. And here, actually, directly from the splash screen, you can say open. And uh, we'll have a PSD file here. Yeah, let's take this one, PSD file. Just one screen, I think. But you can have multiple ad boards. And here we go. Keep the text, but you can still edit. All the layers. So if we check the layers panel, canvas, it's the name of the artboards. And I kept all the names the, and also the properties, text layers, pictures, uh, even shapes. Oh, that's great. So if you have a vector layer, you see, you can still uh, modify the vectors even after you import it. That's cool. Wow, that's very cool. And that's you new, yeah. So let us know what you think. Oh, Claire, you didn't have the latest one, latest one, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's it happens fine. all the time, yeah. So, yeah, let it, let us know also in the chat what you think about this new feature, importing Photoshop files into XD. Um, you can also do the same. I don't have uh, examples, but you can do the same with uh, sketch files, mm -hmm. also. And uh, yeah, let us know if you think this would be useful. In which case. Uh, we had great feedback in the community so far. Okay. Yeah. And this is something we want to improve. Okay. So when you open a Photoshop file, so there are some limitations still. I don't remember exactly which, which ones, but if you have a certain type of uh, group layers, then uh, it can be tricky. But uh, we, we keep improving these features. So you will see in the next. Uh, releases, you will see some improvement also on yeah. importing Photoshop files. I think it's always will be better and better, like yeah. improve. Yeah, it gets better. I agree. So that's the, actually the hover. When you hover the quality, okay. you oh, will it's see a displayer. Yeah, more information. Okay. And also, I want to put bottom here. So when you once you click on this button, probably it's going to be like, for example, contact. Oh, yeah. Contact button. So once you click on this button, it's going to expand probably oh, without contact, just like this, to the whole thing. And you will see the form. So you can fill out this form and contact. So that was my idea. OK. And actually, <coughs> if you want to make it and explain to developer, you can use After Effects to do this thing. It's easy. Yeah, there is um, also a new feature that is cool. Um, can I quickly show you? Yeah. So can you um, duplicate this artboard? So you can select the artboard and do Control D. There you go. OK. And on this one, you will extend, uh, just extend uh, what you wanted to show, you know, the contact box. Uh -huh. Yeah, just for the example, just extend it. OK, so now if you switch to the prototype view, and uh, you click on the first one on the previous artboards, and you say, if I click on contact, I want to jump here. Yeah. OK, so I click here, yeah. I want to jump to this and uh, do a dissolve, yeah. Dissolve. That's OK. Let's try this. Yeah, OK. And uh, let's preview uh, the first one here. So you will scroll down, click on contact, and then, ah, I'm like, no. Yeah, I you get have, it. I have to scroll again. Uh -huh. So if you escape, if you click on the transition, there is a new feature that we introduced last month. You can check this box, which is preserve the scroll position. So now if you pre preview again, You scroll down, you click on contact. Here we go. Cool. You stay, you know, like uh, it will. Uh, yeah. You stay at the same uh, scroll position, mm -hmm. so it's easier to communicate. Uh, That's actually really nice. Yeah. Okay. Because before it used to. 
jump to the top. Like, oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it was. And now, now it's really nice. Okay. Yeah. It's a cool feature. Just a checkbox, you see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Oh, yeah, the countdown is here. Here we go. 54 minutes to submit your entry to this daily challenge. Or, or, yeah, that's. Uh, so far, we only have this crazy experience by running the apocalypse. So, yeah, make sure to share something. You can get a chance to win a Crave Card subscription. Big deal. Mm -hmm. And in about uh, 25 minutes, we will give away this beautiful XD pillow. Yeah, so be active in the chat. Yeah, be active in the chat so you can receive this pillow and you can sleep. Yeah. And XD. And thinking about and stop XD. being active. <laughs> So yeah, the pillow, we'll do it in 25 minutes, okay? Yeah, Dira is asking, do, you, do we need to use gradient? Uh, yeah, I think it's in the rules, right? But uh, feel free to use it if you want. It's just to change you a little bit because uh, actually Daniel told us, uh, I don't remember if it, was, if it was on Tuesday or Wednesday, that gradients are, it was yesterday, mm -hmm. when you did the mobile app. Yes. And you said that gradients are very trendy. So, yeah, now it's yeah. So today we invite them to use gradients. Oh, cool. Yeah. We'll see what, uh, how they play with gra the gradient tool. Mm -hmm. Especially in XD, it's super nice. Yeah, the tool is and easy. I wish sometimes uh, we would produce videos to show the evolution of tools. Oh, you know that that would be cool to show. Cool. How do, do did we uh, create a gradient mm -hmm. fifteen years ago? in yeah. Illustrator, and then 10 years ago, and then five years ago, because, and then now in XD. The tool is so much better. Oh, yeah. It was so painful to create a gradient before. I think it's, I feel it's still a little bit painful in Photoshop. You know, the gradient tool, you have to open the box and change the values. Yeah, in XD it's XD easier. It's super easy. Now, yeah. Illustrator also, I really like the gradient tool where you see mm -hmm. directly on the canvas all the steps. Super good. Hi, <laughs> Ivan. That's funny. Very long hashtag, Ivan. <laughs> when you want the pillow, but you want creative, so you even more. Yeah, Dira, you can use any colors. <clears throat> Just try to play with gradients. That would be awesome. And, uh, thanks, Michaela, for submitting your entry. We will review it very soon. So James White, okay. So now it's more the like when you showcase your work. Like yes, the, yes. Like so a portfolio. That's project. Yeah, we did. Mm. Um, I like this horizontal picture with a vertical one. Yeah, like, yeah. Landscape and portrait. That's kind of idea. As an overlap, yeah, looks very good. It would be cool to make the animation if oh, it yeah. goes like just like, like that. the sea. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. And hi, Sean. So I work for Adobe, and uh, Daniel, maybe you want to introduce yourself again for people watching you for the first time. Yeah. Okay. So I live in Los Angeles now and work for um, web agency, web company. It calls AMP. Uh, three words: AMP agency. Uh, they used to had, have um, Blitz name, but they just changed it. Okay. Yeah. So I do like UI, UX, design sometimes, even graphic design. That's them? Yes. Okay, so maybe I can show the website. So you work for AMP, AMP. Yeah. They're based uh, in Los Angeles, but they also so have... So in Boston, I saw? Yeah, no? they yeah. have in Boston, I think New York. Oh, they did something for Adobe. Yeah, they have some honor from Adobe. Oh, they have some like awards. Statue. Yeah. Meet the team. A lot of uh, men. Huh? Yeah. You need to work on the... <laughs> oh, it's getting better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Los yeah. Angeles, Boston, New York, Austin, and Seattle. Okay, awesome. 
Thanks for the introduction. <laughs> Okay, it's actually will be probably interesting for you how I did these spaces between the letters. So you can do that here. Oh, the kerning, okay. Like, you can put like 100, hmm. 200, but don't, don't go like crazy, like 1000. It's not gonna look beautiful. Uh, yeah. And also you can line the text using these things or here. So it's cool. And also you you have this option now, underline. Okay. So Shen's asking what tools are necessary for UX design. So we really invite you to try Adobe XD because uh, it's more than a design tool. You can also uh, connect the screens, share a prototype, uh, get feedback on the prototype with uh, comments from mm -hmm. your customers, from users. So you can do some user Here. testing. You can record a video and then export all the assets to another team. Um, so yeah, and XD is very easy to learn, very easy to use. Yeah. So Sean, you can easy. try it for free. It's on adobe.com. It's part of the Creative Cloud. So yeah, give it a try and let us know what you think. Yesterday we were asking this, the chat, what is your favorite feature in XD? And uh, a lot oh. of users, they love the repeat grid, but you said that what you like is the performance. <laughs> yes, performance. Yeah, it's, it's super, super fast. fast. Okay. Oh, Red Pulse, which is the project that um, we did. you redesigned on uh, Tuesday. Yeah. If you want to watch your first episode and understand how we created this uh, website for Red Pulse. It's on YouTube. And I will show you how I did uh, the gradient. We can use this one, but it's really easy in... <coughs> oh yeah, that XD. would be nice to, to show them because they have to use the gradients for the challenge. Yeah. So maybe you can show them. So let's uh, create a new rectangle. Okay. For example, like that. And it's really nice to keep your assets here like the color so you can just simply click and it's gonna change automatically here mm -hmm. yeah but let's use so you create a rectangle you click on this here fill and on the top you have uh three options solid color so it's going to be just one color and two types of gradient so let's use this one the second one and okay so you you have the line here, so you can actually, if you click here, you can drag here, like in any uh, point. So once you click, for example, on this one, it's gonna show you the circle will be like bigger. Ah, it's bigger. bigger. Yes. Yeah. So let's take this color and then click on. Yeah, the, you select the other one. Yes. Yeah. And let's make it darker. darker. Yeah, and you can have multiple colors, so you don't yeah. have to like use only two. Like you can add a yeah, like, like a, a highlight. Line. Yeah. So you can put something in the center and make it something yeah. just a tint really or a highlight. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. And also, if you can see here, some like dust dust effect. So this dust effect. Oh yeah, there is a texture. Yeah, I did in, uh, in Photoshop. Photoshop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's easy. You can, you just click, I think, effect on the top of the menu you have, effect, and you will see the... Noise? No? Noise, yeah, yeah, noise. You add some noise. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, Sean is asking, as a UX designer, how much coding and technical abilities do you need? Okay, uh, do you pass a lot of your projects to developers? Does Adobe have software that creates the functionality of an app? Okay, so there are, a l so that's funny because Daniel, he has a developer background. Yes. Like you studied uh, coding and engineering, but the big majority of UX designers uh, don't know anything about coding. So it's good to learn. It's good to have some technical skills, uh, especially if you work for the web. I would say that's the easiest uh, path to coding, you know, to learn HTML, JavaScript, yes. CSS. There are fantastic trainings on the web. Uh, there is this, uh, 
oh, what's the name? Code, Code Academy. Yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah. amazing. Udemy, like, yeah. yeah. Um, but really, it's not necessary. Like, if you don't know coding, you can definitely be the best des UX designers on earth, uh, because it's more about uh, there are so many parts. Uh, it could be more the user research, user testing, um, architecture of the information, wireframing, like so many things, and then UI at the end. Just uh, what is the visual experience? And then, indeed, as you said, you give it to developers, and you need to understand uh, how to talk to the developers, what type of files they need, the quality of the assets. And do we have a software that will create everything, like an app like this? No. And it will never exist, to be honest. <laughs> or it will be a very, very weak app, just with a, a few screens. So what you can do is you can preview your prototype, on an iPhone, but it's not, it's a fake app, you see what I mean? Like, it won't be connected to a database in the cloud, it will be just be screens, so. But it's good to show just the client how it should work. <laughs> yeah, for the client, yeah, they, yeah. they really appreciate having, a, even if it's fake, an interactive prototype here. So there is a free app called uh, Adobe XD, also available on iOS and Android to preview your prototypes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, you can just simply click here on this icon and it will show you mobile preview. Oh yeah, and you Yeah. Because you're on Windows, yeah, you save them in the cloud and then you open it with the files. Yeah. Yeah. True. So this is our like third project. This is gonna be the same like we had here. You can you can actually uh, scroll these things. I I use like space yeah. and then click um, on the button click and drag and drag. Mm -hmm. But you can just like uh, use scroll the, use the mouse the, wheel. Yeah, mouse wheel. Mm -hmm. Claire Cross is asking: Do the developers are always okay with the XD design technically? You have to, you need a conversation with them because it depends on the, not the developers, but it depends on the platform they are targeting. Yeah. On Android, you need very specific assets, very specific sizes uh, uh, in multiple versions. So like a button, they want the button um, like four times bigger, three times bigger, two times and one time to target uh, screens with uh, high density screens. So all types of devices. On iOS, it's a little bit better. You only mm -hmm. need uh, three uh, scales, three resolutions. For the web, uh, two, I would say, to target Retina display and a classic one. Yeah. But XD, if you export an asset, you will see XD will uh, um, prepare the work for you and ask you, is it for Android? Is it for iOS? Is it for the web? And then it will automatically scale and create subfolders so the developers, when they receive the assets, they say, ah, OK, I know what you're talking about. So here we have main page. Mm -hmm. I think every, everything we did here is good. Yeah, Al looks good. Also, we have the page, about page, contact, and other page, it's like when you click on the uh, work menu, it will go to the uh, page. Portfolio. Yeah, where we have, we will have like all these um, projects. So, for the main page, I just it's it's actually it's good to show everything on the main page just a little bit, like what services we do, or what kind of projects, and then when you click on services or work you will get more information. So first page is, is always like the most important, the most difficult page, just face of your um, website. So let's, let's for example, start on about page. Mm -hmm. And uh, Fadlan, uh, you know, you said, uh, oh, sometimes I see designers, they start with a clean design, mm -hmm. and at the end of the project, it becomes flat design. Yes. So he's asking if you have any advice, like, uh, 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 you know, any trick so you can be consistent in your mm -hmm. design. 
actually uh, wireframe always helps me. Okay. So like before I uh, design something, so I create all all these like wireframes. I mean UX, the functionality, mm -hmm. uh, all these things, and I uh, prepare some um, colors. Okay. So it's always good for you just to to have the colors always like here so you can just see like what colors you can use and no else nothing else yes and also you can also sometimes i create like a mood board mm. so you can go for example to behance mm -hmm. you can find really nice um projects you can get inspiration and uh, like pictures it it can be pictures, can be something really nice with animation, some projects. You can save it just somewhere here. You can create the art bot, like, and save them here. And you can always can be inspired by these uh, projects. And yeah, and you're not gonna get like confused, and you will do everything clean by like from the start to the end. So that's why I create all these assets, just to help me to fo focus on only one style. Okay, let's get rid of this one. So this effect, like shadow, you can do here shadow, or you can just duplicate yeah. the text. To have a and hard shadow, yeah, yeah, and just shift it. Yeah. Because you don't need the blur in this case. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what is nice here in XD, I don't have to create again this menu and the social. So I can just, oh, let, let's just lock this layer. So I can just copy this one and it's gonna put to the same position here. Okay. So it's like copy paste, really nice, I like it. Hi Boris, welcome back. Boris was from uh, Serbia, if oh. I remember well. Hi Boris. It's very late in Europe. Uh, let us know in the chat from which country you're watching, just to see uh, who is still awake from Europe. Yeah. So this text you can get from your client, or you can put uh, fish text like lorem ipsum. You can use lorem ipsum, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But usually it's always good to to have the text before you design, design something, yeah. yeah. Because you see like how much text should be, like what size you should uh, give to this text. But de designer. Uh, doesn't have to create all these tags. It like copywriters uh, work. Uh, we have a uh, Rachel from France watching Beatrice from oh. Portugal. Oh yes, a few people watching from Europe. Awesome. That's this cool. is your office. <laughs> this is your desk. Yeah, probably. But, uh, Friends. I, yes, I think could be. I just came. We are in San Francisco, uh, Beatrice. We are live from San Francisco. Oh, Anna from Germany. Okay. <laughs> Other people from Portugal. Awesome. People from California. California. Guillaume is very precise. I'm from Burgundy. It's like, mm. good wine. Where in Burgundy be? Be more precise, Guillaume. Mm -hmm. From Bone, from Vesley. Miami. Yeah, it's good that you are active in the chat because in five minutes we will give this XD pillow to one of you. Exclusive goodie that you can only get on Adobe Live. So cute. I like <laughs> the size. I like it. Yeah, it's nice. In five minutes, the giveaway. Stay tuned. 
we will explain how it works, but basically we just have to sign in and say uh, hi in the chat. Just type something, it will be, you will be eligible to win the pillow. This is about page, okay, at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this so, this end, I can just copy paste, I think, because we already created yeah, the, the footer. Mm -hmm. That's it, we have, oh, let's bring it back. It's supposed to be just like that. Don't forget if you create something, everything should be readable, visible. So you can just test it. You can um, let me lock this. So you can always copy the menu, for example, like I do, and see like oh, everything yeah. is fine. Oh, yeah, to make sure that you don't overlap a text yes. or. Hmm. Wow, Rodney, nice reference. I always have this song in mind too mm -hmm. when uh, we talk about uh, giving away something. You know, the give it away, give it away, give it away now. <laughs> I think it was the red, red hot chili peppers, I think. <laughs> So we have 32 minutes. Maybe one day we will have them on that relay. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, let me tell you. Yeah, we have about uh, yeah 35 okay. minutes. So, yeah, keep in mind if you want to, because they really want you to show mm -hmm. some After Effects. Yeah. I'm super excited about it. <laughs> Should give away a T-shirt, yeah. <laughs> Actually, we are in touch with the designer to create some uh, exclusive... Adobe Live goodies, just for uh, to give away on the for people watching us. So yeah, it will come, but it will take a few weeks. But this is coming. We will start with exclusive and uh, very funny stickers. Cool. Okay. Is the giveaway now? Uh, let me check. Yeah. So be active for two three minutes, and uh, we will announce who will receive this XD pillow. So this is your time, just go now. Everyone is ready. Let's be active for two or three minutes. So if you don't know, if you're first time you're watching, if you don't know how it works, make sure to be on behance.net slash live. Mm -hmm. You sign in to chat with us and uh, you need to use the chat, okay? So you can ask a question to Danielle, you can uh, say some something nice to Danielle, yeah. or let us know where you're from. And we have a script that will pick someone who has been active, okay? Okay. And again, we're giving away the Adobe XD pillow. <laughs> Miguel says, I love you, Daniel. <laughs> <Really? laughs> That's very nice. That's very nice. Thank you. Don't be shy to ask me something. Yeah, so what is this picture like for the about? Like, is it like a... This one? A robot? No, this one with oh, the hands. What is this? Something uh, you wanted uh, a little bit futuristic or... I think, yes, arty? something kind of futuristic. Why I choose this uh, picture? Mm -hmm. Because it's like clean. Okay. And nice. Oh, clean background. Okay. Yeah, clean background. Uh, yeah. And, it, yeah. It's they want to know how old you are. Oh, really? So, I'm 22 years old. 22. So, I'm still young. So young. He 
could be my son. <laughs> I always technically <laughs> in any company I always like the youngest one. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The young kid. Yeah. It's like Gus here. So. <laughs> So batteries, yeah, we spoke uh, with Daniel about it. Like, so he graduated from uh, engineering school, right? Yeah. So I have bachelor degree of computer science. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm asking for my age now. <laughs> I'm not 22. I am. Uh, but close. 17, almost 18 years older. Than Daniel. <laughs> That's why he could be my son. I would have been a very young dad. But <laughs> but yeah, he's very young, but uh, also it's. I think it's awesome to see on Adobe Live also uh, young and talented designers. Yeah. Um, because, again, I repeat, like the the way we find a guest is uh, really browsing behinds. And uh, when we find uh, really like good work, good content, a good way to present in the work, we're like, wow, we really want to know the story behind this work. And this is how we find guests. And uh, sometimes, yeah, we have someone come in and say, oh, I'm 22. So, OK, awesome. <laughs> uh, Johnny Vino, you know, like, you know, yeah, Johnny, Johnny, like he creates, a he's very young too, super young. He must be 22, 23. Yeah. 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 So who will win? The pillow. A win. How how should I say win, Francisco again? Win. 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 Who will win the pillow? It's broken? Ah, okay. Technology is broken. <laughs> we have to use uh, another technology called pen and paper. Okay, Gus is coming. You have a name? Okay. Oh! That's good because, so again, huh, this is a, a random uh, script that we have, JavaScript. <laughs> Uh, and this is someone who has truly be active, asking questions, so mm -hmm. this is great. You want to read the name? Yeah. So it's Sin... Sean? Oh, it's Sean? Yeah, like Sean Connery. Oh, Sean, okay. Welcome yeah. to the rock. Oh, I'm sorry. So it's... I'm sorry. Sean... Sean uh, Rain, Reynolds? Yeah, Sean Reynolds. Yeah, congratulations. Congratulations. Sean. Wow, it's not easy to say. See that? Congratulations, Sean. Congratulations, Sean. Yeah. Yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> But yeah, he was asking questions about oh, which tool should I use uh, mm -hmm. as a new UX designer. So, Sean, we will send you a private message on Behance. So make sure to check your inbox very soon. And uh, you will receive this pillow. Where are you from, Sean? Can you remind me? Maybe you told us already, but maybe you can remind us. And for all the other ones, we are coming. We'll be back next week with amazing giveaways. So stay tuned. More pillows actually next week. I think we're giving away uh, Illustrator pillows, InDesign pillows, and uh, what else? I don't know. We had a good idea, but I forgot. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Something's very special next week. If you're a graphic designer or interested in graphic design, make sure to tune in because there is a surprise for you next week. You're from Philly. Okay, Philadelphia. Good. Bruce Springsteen. Okay. I guess we almost finished with all the pages. Hi, Diana. We'll be back on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But, yeah, there will be some giveaways on Tuesday, Wednesday, and a surprise on Thursday. Lance Wyman? No, no. <laughs> Lance Wyman is a legend in the graphic design industry. Like oh, very like oh. one of the 
legend of the industry, and he was live with us uh, a few weeks ago. No, he, he won't be back. He won't be back. <laughs> but that, that would be great. I would love to have Lance back. So Lance, he lives in New York, actually. New York. And uh, we will be live from New York in May from the 99U conference. It's mm. a conference by uh, Behance. By Behance. Cool. And uh, I will try to get Lance back. I will ask him if he wants to come back. That would be, he was so good. And yes, Anna, there will be challenges too next week, but it will deal with graphic design. So it's be more about, you know, creating a poster, maybe a logo. Margo, yeah. You will see. Should be very fun too. So they will use more like an illustrator? Illustrator and in design next week, yes. Boris is asking, will you be live in Europe this year? So we'll be live from off in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. It's a conference in uh, June, so Boris, if you plan to go to OFF, it's O-F-F-F, -F, the best design conference ever with Adobe Max, which is in the US, but OFF is in uh, Barcelona. Uh, yeah, feel free to let me know, okay? And, uh, and maybe we'll do another live event from Paris in June. OFF is in May. Sebastian, you want to know what is the challenge? Oh, today. So check the challenge tab, Sebastian. But we invite uh, the viewers to create a share prototype of a futuristic app, an app that will be released in 2050. So now, uh, Daniel, we're working on the work page. So it's basically your portfolio. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think. We're good. We almost finished it, the pages. Okay. So maybe you can show uh, how to connect them. Yeah, prototype a little and bit. And how to share on the web. Yes. So they will see the full workflow. Oh, yeah. Boris, you're going, uh, going on a honeymoon in June. Good for you. Awesome. And Melissa, yeah, it will be in Paris. Melissa, you're from, oh yeah, Ghent, okay. Yeah, we have some people watching from France. There was Guillaume from Burgundy, I remember. Maybe you can pass by and bring some uh, wine. <laughs> It'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. So this phone you can download from anywhere. I oh, think I guess, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I saw also a free mock-up. Uh, yeah. There are more and more, you know where? Free mock-ups on Behance. On Behance, yeah, yeah. exactly. And you can download the PSD file to replace the picture, and then you it. can use it. So let's do. Let's play a little bit with gradients. So again, uh, you can do this really easy. If you want just to, oh like yeah, one corner, round one corner. How corner, do you do yeah. that? So, actually, this is just a picture. Okay. So let me just show you in some example, just like that. So if you want just to round one one corner, so you click Alt and click it and drag to the center. Okay. So the Alt or Option key on Mac and and you yeah. just select one corner. Okay. Yeah. That's easy. It's the same in Illustrator for uh, mm -hmm. since a few years, yeah. I really love this feature. Okay. Okay, Guillaume. Uh, Boris is asking, what is the next step after you finish a design in XD? How can you show it to uh, your customer? So yeah. we, will, we will show it in a few yeah. minutes huh, with we'll Daniel. Show. Just finishing the design, and uh, so the first step, you design the screens. Second step, you switch to the prototype view to connect the screen. So you say, okay, if I click here, I want to transition to this screen. 
Yes. So I click here, I go to this screen with this type of transition. And then the last step is to publish and share to get feedback or just to showcase what you are working on. But to get feedback is uh, usually better. So let's show them now yeah. if you want. OK, so you want so to show the prototype? Yeah. So let's say you have these pages and you want to show the client. So you see these two options here on the top of um, yeah. this XD. So once you click on prototype and you click on artboard, you will see this uh, small thing with the arrow. So it means you can just click and drag to another page. So it's going to connect. It's going to be connection between these two pages. Mm -hmm. And you can um, connect them like a like whole uh, page, or you can choose any element. Like, for example, let's, let's do something like this. Let me just delete this. We don't need it anymore. Um, let's copy main page again. Let's do read menu. Okay. So we have this menu here. Let's group. And okay, if you click on this menu, it should um, open this page. I think no, no, not this page. I'm sorry, this page. And if you click here, it's gonna just opens you like moves you to exactly this position, oh, right? Yeah. Like yes. Preserve scroll position. And you can choose uh, effect. Yeah, this all is fine. For yeah, example. for the web usually. For mobile applications, you can do like push left or yeah. you know slide right, but. For the web, usually yeah. you use either known, so I click it, known, yeah, or dissolve. I like dissolve. Uh, dissolve is good, yeah. yeah. So I just leave it here because <coughs> uh, you can prototype and you can see it in the same time. Yeah, you don't true. have to like uh, click play again, then close. So what we have for now, it just opens this menu, and. Let's do something. For example, it will take us to work page. So we can just connect this and it will open. Let's see what we have now. Yeah, it opens this page. So, okay, let's say we have this like prototype and you want to share with your client mm -hmm. so you just um, you have to click here I think before you should yeah it's just okay you just make sure everything is fine yeah click on this just to make sure click on this share like icon and you have these three options publish prototype you actually need to publish prototype if you want to show the client. Yeah. So you click publish. And here you have some few also checkbox. If you want client that he like will be able to leave some comments there. So you click yes. Uh, if you want to open it in full screen, you can click yes. And yeah, show hotspot hints. I think that's these things. It's the blue. Uh, yeah. Yes. The, the blue hints. So if you don't know where to click, you yes. click anywhere and it will show you where you can click. So it's very useful. And the first time you, you have to just click new link. Okay. It takes maybe like a few seconds to create it. Yeah. So what it does is that it will also upload, so detect the screens you want to share mm -hmm. and upload all the visual assets. So the more you use picture, the more time it will yes. take because it's uploading everything to the cloud. But then it becomes a, a URL that you can share, like send by email to uh, users, stakeholders, yeah. customers, and they can add comments. So we will show that. Okay, it's 50%. Yeah, so 50% usually, this is when it's almost there. Like, yeah. <laughs> I saw that. I think 50% is the stage where it says, okay, now I'm sending the pictures. <laughs> yeah. So that's why it's always like freezing at 50. And then, and then suddenly, yeah. yeah. 
So, okay, so you can copy link and open it, or you can just copy and paste here. This is the link you can send to your client. Yep. Oh, actually, do you have the... Maybe you can paste it in the chat so they can also add comments. Oh, okay. So it's here, yeah. So try to add comments. Here and uh, the mods, they will have to authorize it, but... Uh, yeah. So yeah. now you can come and you can add comments on the prototype. So maybe you can show how they can add comments. They need to click on the comments tab here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. yeah. To make sure you open it and uh, and then you can leave a comment. Yeah. And you can text something here. And also you can use uh, I think pin to artboard. Yeah. So first you type something. Yeah. Like uh, I want to change this social icons mm -hmm. and you and just you pin and say drag this here. is what i'm talking about and you click yep here we go oh and you start having some comments you see oh nice hamburger team icon. likes so, the hamburger yeah so i see that now that's cool thank you team okay so yes yeah, the first way to share uh and it's still interactive so you you added a link right uh if you click uh yeah. yeah, here it will jump to the second screen and it's a new screen, so this is also something where you can add comments. Yeah, okay, exactly. And you can change, uh, yeah, you can also navigate with, uh, with the arrows. Yeah, yeah, and don't forget to also to change uh, title here because I just forgot that's from that previous um, project. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, polls <laughs> should be less long. Mm. So that's the first way to share. If you share also with uh, designers, integrators, you can use the, it's still in beta, but it's the design specs. Yeah. So that's really easy. So design specs, it's more for the handoff. When you need to hand off to developers, they will uh, be in the browser and they will get more information about uh, the positions of the assets, the margin between your elements, mm -hmm the typeface you are using, um, the, the size of the text, the, the colors you're using. So it makes developer a little bit easier to work with the project. Let's see if it freezes also at 50%. Yeah, it's freezes. And now it's going to be super fast. Yeah, now it's uploading everything. You can, oh, you can already, uh, oh, already that's, yeah. that's suspicious. That's weird. So uh, you can choose artboard, yeah, for which example, one? this one. And then on the right, it should generate, yeah, yeah. all the colors you're using. So it shows you all the colors. All the textiles. Text, yeah. And also you can click on it. You can see the yeah. all these specs. And you can even copy the text. So it shows you content copy. Awesome. Okay, cool. So yeah, thanks for Daniel, because you really you have shown the, the full workflow. You yeah. design screens, you prototype, so connect the screens, mm -hmm. and you share. Okay, that's uh, the yeah. real workflow of Adobe XD. And also, when you prototype, I think you can record, right? Yes, on uh, on the Mac. On the Mac. When you preview, because we are using yes. QuickTime on the Mac, and there is no QuickTime, uh, unfortunately, yeah. on Windows. But. but it's okay. But you can record a video. Yeah. Um, okay. So maybe um, if you want, we can jump to After Effects. Yeah. If you want. Yeah. Let's do that. So. Okay. So what do you want to do in After Effects? So I'll, I'm gonna show just like really simple. Something simple. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's do something simple. Without any code, any. Yeah. We don't want to. Effects. Be overwhelmed or... by After Effects. Yes. <laughs> okay. So let me open it. This also this project will be on my portfolio okay. soon, so you can see the full version of this website. And one developer is working on this website now. And I think you you change the name of your portfolio no? on Behance. No, it's uh, Behance.net slash Daniel Musa. Yeah, slash Daniel Musa. Yeah, because... super easy to to find. But they will put it in the chat. Okay, let's just wait until it's uh, open. Th 
This is my content. And they're asking if you know how to use all Adobe tools. <laughs> all Adobe tools? Like, you mean... All the Creative Cloud apps. Oh, all the Creative, yeah. Actually, um, I would say Photoshop, Illustrator, um, Dreamweaver, InDesign, Adobe XD, of course, After Effects, Premiere Pro. Yeah. Also, I want to try with Flash, Adobe Flash. Mm -hmm. like animate. Yeah. No. Animate, yeah. yeah. They actually, they are all like the same, I would say. Like maybe yeah, they yeah. have a lot of tools in common. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. And if you know After Effects, it would be very easy to um, to learn uh, Adobe Animate. Yes, because you have keyframes. Yeah, so Animate is a mix of Illustrator and After Effects. So mm -hmm. It's funny. So this is how it looks After Effects. It's it has uh, a little bit more. All, all these tools. Yeah, and a lot of tools, a lot of panels. Panels. Then it's quite easy. impressive. Yeah, but you can do really nice things here, and even you can do something with 3D. So it's really nice. Um, so let's actually let's uh, work on this one mobile app on the post. As you remember, let me just open and show you really quick. Mm -hmm. I think it will be really nice example. Um, so, so back with me, yeah, fixed element on a page is coming very, very soon. The team, the XD team already told us on user words that uh, they are working on it. So it means that it's about to be released. Okay. So we have these screens. Yeah. We will use probably just one. And as I mentioned um, in the last hour work, when we were working on uh, this, yeah, yeah. so the user should like scroll to the left or to the right. The swipe, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Swipe it so we can actually show that. Yeah. It's um, a good idea. Okay. So you you actually can create all these things in After Effects inside, but it, it's gonna just take time. So I'll just use. Oops, sorry. I'll just use uh, this mockup. Mm -hmm. So you can just take drag and paste here. Also, we need, I think we need um, this, the first screen. So let's just lock this and this. Okay. There we go. I'm going to ju just export like a PNG Yeah, some PNG picture. files. Yeah. So make it. So again, to export in XD, you just select whatever you want, and you do Control E on Windows or Command E, yeah. like export, and say, okay, I want a transparent PNG, or I want a JPEG, and it will just uh, generate it super fast. And let's uh, also <coughs> save this one. Let's change the name. Okay, so what we have for now. So let's create composition so we can we will be able to work yeah. with this. So So a composition is really the, the base element yes. of uh, video animation in After Effects. So you say I want to create a new composition that would be uh, uh, full HD, so maybe uh, 1920 pixel by uh, uh, 1080 pixels. Yeah, you can if you want to do full it. HD, but you can change uh, yeah, it could be any size. And so you give the the dimensions of the composition, you give the frame rate, so how many frames per second do you want? Yes. So 30 is more than enough. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and then uh, you give the duration, how long is your composition, but this is something you can change after. Yeah, you can change any time. And the background color. Um, yeah, background color. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you're doing something, yeah, it's a 720p, which is... Uh, 1280 pixels. There okay. we go. Let's make it smaller. So if you want to zoom, you can actually click here and choose. Like this is going to be 100%. I think this is okay for us. So you, you all, all, always you can change uh, 
this composition. Yeah, in the settings. settings. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Okay, so let's do. We can put this layer in the on the back. The, so this is will be our layer. And the countdown is red now. It means that you have less than five minutes to submit your entries. And this is the last show of the week, so make sure to submit your entries now if you are working on the, on the challenge with the Futuristic app. This is the time to go in the challenge tab and submit the link to your prototype. Okay, cool. Okay, if you want to do something, you you can like click on this arrow. You have okay. transform, and you have all this like position, scale, rotation, opacity. All these things will be like more than enough for you to create some really nice animations for the client, for the developer, for your portfolio on Behance. So let's do that 50% opacity. So we can see that we have, oh, actually, let me just make it just wider, just because to show the people how it's mm. work. Let's make it like that. So we have the layer on the back here. And it should be a little bit smaller. So you can change the scale, maybe? Yeah, you can change scale yeah. here. Or you can click Control minus. Oh. So it's like... To scale it down. OK. Yeah. OK, so we scale down now. Let's make this one smaller. Okay, so now um, <clears throat> it, it's actually good to just rename everything because you, you're going to be confused. Mm -hmm. So you can click, right click and rename it. Okay, so let's work on this one first. So let's put the position. So this is your like timeline, I would say. And once you click here, you, you put the like key when it should start from and then for example like it should be one second so you okay. you put this like line this uh, yeah you move in time yeah with the time. playhead and say at one second i want to change the change position property yeah and now move you to the left for instance yeah move to the left and, and you see this line yeah so, so after means. effects will interpolate so we'll calculate all the frames mm -hmm between the first position we define and the second one. Yeah. Uh, Paco was asking if I update my design in XD, those the link would be updated. Uh, no, so you update your design in XD and you have to publish again, Paco, and say, update my design in the cloud, okay? But it's not automatic. You, you have to decide, okay, I want to update my design. So now we see we have some animation. Oh, here we so go. You yeah. can so if we press play, I think play. it will yeah. show you the base. You, know? you can you can click just space bar. The space bar, OK. And also, for example, if you click on opacity, so now we have 100%. And when you go, when it goes to the end, you can put like 0, for example. Oh, so it will fade out. Yeah. So it will be just something like that. Yeah. And also, you, uh, I, I like to use this thing. It's blur, motion blur. Motion blur. Mm -hmm. So it'll, it will move like smoothly, like with some really nice effect. You will see now. OK. So let's also animate uh, this one, this layer. So let's put, for example, in the center between these two. And you have less than 30 seconds to submit your entry for the challenge. Oh, we just got one just in time. And put like in 15. Let's put scale. Also, I, I think it should be here. Yeah. And put here. 
and scale it to the same uh, size that we have for the first one. Mm. And then let's also move it this. So you click on position and you move it to the same position that it was on the first one. You can be more accurate with this one. I'm just making it so fast, so. Yeah, but okay. And it should be hundred percent at the end. At the end, did I put the opacity? Uh, okay. So it should be hundred percent. And let's also do something with the um, text. We had, we had text oh, here yeah, on you the, had the top. Price. Yeah. Yeah, price. Again, my bad. Okay, so text you can you can find here. Mm -hmm. You click. Let's type something like it's gonna be ninety nine. You can change uh, the color here, where you see, you see the character, and make it smaller. Like, for example, like that. It's going to be fine. Maybe even less. So you, you also can do something with the text. For example, when this um, appears, when this screen appears, uh, you can, yeah, like, you will find the last key here. Let's put the line here and animate text. Okay, click on the text. So, so let's put the text somewhere here. Put opacity zero. And then let's put probably here, for example. And make opacity 100%. So let's go back and let's play with the position. So position starts here and ends here. So let's put put it here. Okay, so let's see what we have for now. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Okay. So this this like easy things you can yeah, do. Yeah, just playing with the position, scale, opacity. Yeah. And um, so maybe you can show like if if I want the text mm -hmm. to move faster. So how would you do that? To you move know, like, faster. Like I review and I say, oh, it's a little bit slow. So I want the the text, the price to do mm, something faster. faster. So how do you? Ch what can you do to change it? Uh, you can actually move key okay. a little bit closer. Yeah. So it's going to be less time. Less time between, between the two positions. Yeah. yeah. So it just you see like playing with keyframes, uh, but you need to understand the the UI. So here it's a. Uh, so now it's faster. It's clear, but in the timeline, you open the properties of your layers, and in transform, you can play with opacity, yeah, scale, yeah. position, rotation. Yeah, you can and, rotate it. And yeah play with the keyframes and you will understand uh, it's a good introduction to After Effects, I would say. So now it's it's fast. Like it yeah, it's faster slow, because you reduce the time. Yeah. Here we go, between the two positions. So it means this first one, it's where it starts and the, the second one where it ends, actually. And between them, it's like time it takes to do this animation here. Yeah, so you can do all these things. And you can actually play with the effects and presets. You can find some really nice um, effects you can use for your project or whatever. And once you finish with all these things, you can actually, I think you can click on, yeah, composition and add to render. Oh, actually, let me go back. Let me show you again. Because I actually create uh, a lot of compositions accidentally. So this is actually 
was my bad. But let's, for example, you want to render the first composition. So you click on this composition, click Add to Render. And this is going to be that com comp one. Just don't don't look at this one. That was my bad. So you just render um, a yeah. classic video. You don't change the settings. You can change the settings. No, but, but like for uh, you want to create a GIF or what do you want to do? Oh, actually, if you if you want to choose the format, you can choose. I guess you can choose here. Yeah. Exactly here. So here's the all the formats you can uh, do. Actually, if you want to create GIF, I think I just save it in like QuickTime, for yep. example, and I export to Photoshop. Yeah, that's what I do too. Yeah, and from from Photoshop, Photoshop you can you, do GIF. You save for GIF. the web. Yeah, save for web. Like you open, you drag and drop the video on Photoshop. You save for the web, and you can select GIF, and it will create an animated GIF. Yes. That you can put on Behance, like anywhere. Yeah. And you can also work with here. You can put it's it's for audio, but if you don't have, just click audio output off, and this and that's it. I also have formats options, mm -hmm. and then if you click here, it just shows you like where you want to save this uh, project. And once you click render, it's gonna take a little bit time to render it. You will see the loading bar here, mm -hmm. and when it's finished. It will be just like some yeah. sound like ping, ping. ping. yeah, <laughs> and that's it. Cool. Yeah, thanks for sharing that. Yep. Okay. Do you want to review some yes. uh, entries because they they have been very creative? So okay. we change you today to create um, the application of the future. So uh, you know you, uh, what was happening on the first day. Like I remember yesterday, we asked them to create a web experience to share pictures. Mm -hmm. On the first day, it was the ideal social media app. Today, it's just an app, but it has to take place in 2050, so in the future, so you can go crazy. You remember at the beginning of the show, we were sharing the, uh, the Apocalypse app. Okay. So they told me, okay, let's try. Decline. So we tried to, yeah. No, we tried to save. Oh, and then no. Yeah, and it didn't work. Oh, game over. Game over. Oh. It didn't work. <laughs> okay, nice idea. Okay, so we have another one by uh, Michaela. Congratulations, you have successfully installed your artificial intelligence content lenses. Ah, content lens with mm. artificial intelligence. Cool. So you can name the AI. You say Michaela, is that correct? Yes, that's the name. What would you like to do? I need uh, an Uber. Okay. Ah, no, it's a flying car. Okay, good to know. I need my to-do list. Okay, I need to feed my alien pet. Mm -hmm. See? Okay, <laughs> I need to shop for a new space. I need a joint teleportation workshop. Oh, cool. <laughs> and uh, I want to go to Mars. You know, like you can choose where you want to go. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. A lot of... Uh, that's nice. Ideas. Very I, nice. I like gradients. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice color. And using gradients. Good job. This one... Um, so where can I click? Here, spaced. So in 2050, we will still have iPhones. iPhone. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and iOS will still have the same look. So it's good to know. Good job, Apple. Yeah. So we can help you to get the best places in the galaxy. OK. Mm, I like it. Where do you want to go? Europa, Jupiter, Mars. Um, I want to go on Mars. On Mars, OK. OK, so that's the, oh yeah, it will take a lot of time. It's not very expensive, but mm -hmm. it will take some time. And we will start from London. Okay. Two, two, tickets. two tickets. Okay. And then I can pay. Okay. And cool. I got my tickets. Okay, it's confirmed. I'm ready to go to Mars. Okay. Cool. Very nice. I like I like this one. Yeah. Really nice. Beautiful. Beautiful execution. VR travel, so I guess it's VR to reality travel. Mm -hmm. That's my guess. Okay, sc scanning eye. Okay, where do you want to travel? Here, yeah, I think. Here. Yeah, that's where we want to travel. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do we want to do? Information. Oh, this is Neptune. Ah. Okay. 
pictures. Okay, let's check before oh. how it looks. Okay. We are through forever. Are you ready? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. Now we are entering <laughs> planet Neptune. It's nice, huh? Okay, yeah. It's yeah. nice. It's like... I like the format spooky. also, which is... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Good job. Neptune, yeah. Good job. Yeah. yeah. This, this is awesome. Very easy to understand. Pacosmis. This is the love boat. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. To find love. Okay, so... Oh, it's, for, it's like Tinder for robots. Yeah, for robots. So... <laughs> What can I do? I can open the menu. And I can then. upload my data. Uh, so the common interest. Okay, IO, crypto computing. <laughs> that, that's funny. <laughs> and that will be the interface of the chat, I chat, guess. After. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is funny. This is yeah, but actually, yeah, this might happen. You know, Probably at some in point future. with uh, artificial intelligence, they will all kill human beings and <laughs> <laughs> they will need a Tinder app. <laughs> Scan, 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 okay. whoa, it's a huge uh, app. Okay, scanning my iris, authenticate it. Looks mm -hmm. like minority report, you see, with the shape of the eye. Mm -hmm. Hi, gents, what do you like to uh, know? I want to park. Okay, I will find a parking space. Locate it. You have to go here. Okay. Uh, it's in Liverpool. So this will be Liverpool, you see? Behind. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's Liverpool in Looks 2015. Cool. Okay. Proceed with payments. Yes, please. Oh, in the cloud. Okay. No more cash. No more <laughs> credit card. Yeah. Just. And the sky car is being parked. Hi. Recall. Oh, yeah. Where is my car? <laughs> oh, and you can uh, call it back. So it's okay. coming back to you. Cool. Nice. Nice. Good job. Yeah. The planetium. Start your galaxy meal. Ah, okay. So what will we eat in 2050? Nice. The planet looks like burger. Ah, yeah, because maybe you can uh, order some food, but from another planet, because oh, it yeah. will be so fast. <laughs> so I want a planet burger with a big macarian. Okay, complete the order. Okay, it's coming. Still hungry. Okay. Ah, I need more food. I need a coffee. Okay, I see. Yeah, I mean... That's cool. It's like Uber Eats, you know? Yeah, but planet. But with planets. Yeah. It's a good idea. Very creative today. Okay, what do you want to do? Guard, uh, remember or keep my memories? Ah, this would be a, a good topic, maybe to inject memories. Yes. Like scenes that you never had. I want to remember my birthday, or maybe it will access your memory. Yes. Yeah, that would be awesome. This cool idea. Yeah, I want to remember. What do I want to remember? My birthday, okay. And the date, so I type the date. Okay. Remind me. Oh, and you see all the pictures of the family, what happened that day. That's cool. They were all very happy. That's a nice idea. Yeah. I like it. And access to, yeah, your brain. Very nice. I like nice. the colors also. Very good use of contrast. Yes. Uh, it's very flashy, but these uh, three dominant yeah, colors. Yeah, very this nice. Brain. Yeah, cool. Let us eat, eat, okay, uh, with the sushi, okay, what's going on? What is going on? Order now, okay, fingerprint, okay. Steak and mashed potatoes, Okay. still in 2050, yeah, I mean, <laughs> food didn't really change. Good to know what we like to drink. Okay, it's coming. Okay, okay so, so the good news is that, uh, <coughs> Lauren, we already have this app. So that's, uh, <laughs> in 2018, we already have this. Yeah. So if you want to order food and drinks, coming to your door. But that's a good exercise. I mean, you have, yeah. uh, the call to action is good. I like the fingerprints though. Yeah, that's the actually future. UI probably. kit to show the keyboard. Mm -hmm. Repeat grid. So it's very clean. So yeah, it works. Okay, so that's a mug, or maybe it's a, what's the name, a connected object, you know, object connected to internet. Okay. A mug feed. Oh, yeah, look, it's displaying information on the mug. On the mug. Oh, oh that's cool. cool. So when you have coffee, you know, oh, and it's projection. It it's cool. crazy. But what happens when you drink? <laughs> you know, like, a, yeah. the screen will go everywhere. Oh, and you can talk to someone as you drink coffee, but they will see my nose, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> you say, okay, well, very cool. But it's still a good idea. I like actually, it's uh, a future. yeah. And what I like is that it's using XD, but mm -hmm. on a mockup. So it's very like it took us uh, three seconds to understand what was the intention of uh, McFit. Yeah. So, so it's very well uh, expressed. Who did this? Yeah. Who did uh, McFeed <laughs> in the chat? Let us know. Okay. Wow. So very clean also. This. Uh, oh, it's a transparent iPhone. Look at that. Mm, nice. Oh. So the weather. Oh, no. It will be displayed directly on your, on your desk. Oh, Adobe XD. Okay. Oh, there's a new UI for Adobe XD in cool. 2015. Oh, that's something cool. You should yeah. show it to developers. Woo. <laughs> Oh, we should show it to the XD team. Maybe you can come back yes. tomorrow. We'll show it to the XD team. They will love it. Yeah. That's funny. And is it someone who is Russian? Because I see the weather from Moscow. So. <laughs> Probably. It's awesome. Yeah, thanks for playing with XD. It's super nice. OK, optical biometric scan. OK, let's see what's going on. So Rachel, she's based in Paris, I think, in France, for sure. OK, I can verify this. And I think she won yesterday, I'm not sure. Your Welcome person. to Edible, your personal garden. Pick. I've spent 46 so years. Like about you, I oh, like information. Yeah. So they scan it, they, they directly tell you like what, how is your health and what you should eat. Yeah. The vitamins you need. You need to take vacation. Mm. <laughs> Overall health. Oh. That's nice. And, and what you can grow, I guess. What you should grow yeah. and eat. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. And I guess I yeah, like it's it. true that it should be the case in the future, you know, like uh, having an audit of your health and directly uh, change your habits and food. Yeah. Teleportation. Let's do it. Teleportation. Mm -hmm. Cool. Where do you want to go? Let's go to... To Portugal, I yes. think. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's do that. Hey, Daniel. You see, that's you. Mm -hmm. Today is January. Oh, select a date for your journey. Okay, 2050. Oh, and then you can select where you want to go. You know, or maybe you're already because if you say I want to be in um, Algarve, Portugal, it's a big region, so maybe you okay. need to be more precise. Nice. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's funny. That's cool. Cleon, okay, interesting design. Click to start. So what's happening? Save time with Cleon. Your home device. Oh, yeah. So that's a. Uh, yeah, it's a nice logo, actually. Yeah. Your sun panel is out of battery. <laughs> yeah, maybe there is no more sun, you know? Yeah. Uh, that would be an uh, issue. Um, check your device, really. OK. Nice uh, job with the illustrations. The illustrations are good. Yeah, like a connected uh, house, you know? That's, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That works. Good job. And, uh, okay. and this one, OK. Work. So maybe in the future, we need to balance between work and life, you know, and choose. Come on. And then at the end it says, sorry guys, I only had 14 minutes for the prototype. Oh, okay. Okay. But I see where you are going to. It's like uh, maybe in the future we have to be more aware of uh, the balance between work and life. Mm -hmm. So interesting okay. concept too. Yeah, you know? interesting. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good job. Yeah, it will be hard to choose, huh, Daniel? Good luck. But you have to pick a project that you want to reward and say, oh, yes. yeah, I was really impressed, or I really like this idea, or I want to encourage this one. I did really like uh, two projects, this one and I think... This one, you mean? Yeah, this one. Oh, the nice. memories? Yeah. 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 They have all really nice uh, ideas, but yeah. also I like, I think, I guess, this one probably, right? Uh, spaced. Yes. Yeah. Ah, oh, the space travel. Yes. Yeah. This one is super impressive. It looks nice. From yeah. the like design view, it, it looks really nice. The colors are good. All these animations. Mm -hmm. The slider also, very yeah. good job. So it's between spaced and guard, yeah. And yeah. both of them, are, yeah, the execution is really impressive. And you can keep, okay, memories, yeah. like oh, yeah. backup memories. I like colors here. Mm. And it's a really nice idea. I like it. Yeah. But I think I'm more like to this one. Yeah, this one is very impressive too. Okay, let's reward spaced. Spaced. If yeah. this is how you feel, okay, let's do it. 
So congratulations to the designer behind Space. Uh, super impressive work. Congrats. Beautiful design and great idea. Now we want to travel to Mars and book tickets. I think it makes sense. <laughs> and this is actually something that is about to happen very soon, thanks to Elon Musk, apparently. Yeah. Uh, so who was behind Space? Uh, let me check. Who was there? So who is this? Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Oh, it's a celebrity. So Chris Brown. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Congrats. Yeah, this is great. And uh, what time is it? So yeah, maybe we can go back to your screen. <clears throat> yeah. And um, maybe you can recap everything what everything. you have done yeah. over the three days, uh, because they can watch the replay on. Um, on YouTube, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and by the way, so we know that the replays they are uh, on YouTube on the Create Cloud YouTube channel. But we are working with the Behance team to have a replay experience, a replay page on Behance. So this is coming very soon, and uh, it will be much easier for you to access the live content and the replay. So the team is working on it, and it will look awesome. Okay. So on the day one, we've worked uh, on the um, uh, desktop version of. Um, Oh, yeah. Minimalistic website pulls mm -hmm. earphones, and also I tell told you about the these two things UI UX. Was the difference between UI UX? Yeah, it was very interesting. If you want to watch uh, the replay of day one, yeah, yes, yeah. in the introduction he explains the his point of view on the difference between UX and UI. Yeah, and overview Adobe Experience Design overview. So I showed you the tools, mm -hmm. cool features, new something new. Uh, the Second day was um, we were we continue with the first uh, project the, with the pools because we didn't have too much time so uh, we did this mobile app for the pools and then we started working on the second project it's this one scale we did pretty good job with that and then on day three I showed you something in After Effects you can do. And also, I showed you some really nice website. You can balance your um, color, like text color and background. We did the minimalistic website design Westlaw. Mm -hmm. That's actually will be probably my like own website. So this is how yeah, it looks. There we go. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thanks and for creating. Uh, I mean, all these projects over the three days because they are also different. Yes. And. Um, also, uh, we'll be back also tomorrow. Remember, uh, we are launching a new show. So if you are on Behance and if you check the schedule tab, uh, you will see that there is already a new event, Designing Adobe XD, a new show at 12 p.m. Pacific time, uh, where you can directly uh, chat and uh, discuss UX design with the team behind Adobe XD. So Tallinn, the lead designer of Adobe XD, will be there and every week with new guests all working on Adobe XD. Uh, and next week, you can already see the lineup. We have uh, Tina Tuli, Nick De Cuevas, Veronique and Emil, and also Krishna Priya, all graphic designers. So they will work, as you said, mainly on the brand identity using uh, Illustrator in design. Yes. And a little bit of Adobe Spark. Daniel, okay. thank you so much for uh, coming from LA. Yes, thank you. To be live. Did you enjoy the experience? Oh yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, and thanks everyone for asking um, so many cool questions during this week. Uh, we really love to exchange about uh, UX design and uh, all um, like the industry, the difference with UX, UI, what you can do with Adobe XD, and uh, also what you love in Adobe XD. Um, we will be back next week, so make sure to be back on Adobe Live next week. There is this new show on Friday. We also have a new show on Monday, which are getting started tutorials made by the Adobe Evangelist. Everything is in the schedule. Daniel. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys. Yeah. That you've been with us. Um, yeah, if you have any other questions, you can also message me on Behance. Yeah. Yep. And Make sure to yeah. follow Daniel on Behance and uh, yeah, they can send you a private yes. message. Yeah. yeah. Sure, of course. Awesome. So it's behance.net slash Daniel Musa. One word. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye, everyone. See you soon. Bye, guys. Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs>